Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Programming in My Way. Today I am going to discuss about functions in C programming. Okay, so function is very important programming construct of C programming or it is a one of the building block of C programming. So you can find this function concept in all the programming language C, C++, P, P, Java, then C Sharp. So let us start with functions in C programming. functions in C programming. So first we will see what is the definition of function, then which are the advantages of function, then which are the drawbacks of function, then we will see which are the types of functions in C language. Okay, so what is the definition of function? So function it is a block of code which performs a particular task. So see it is a block of code. So in C we are having the block with the help of these two curly braces starting curly brace and ending curly brace so you can consider there is a add function Ready? so if I consider add as a function then see this is a block of code which performs a particular task so see here as this function name is add so I can perform addition of two number here so for this add function my task is addition of two number Ready? So that's why I have given the definition that this function is a block of code which performs a particular task. So see here task is addition. Addition is a task here and this add is a it is a function. It is a function or you can call it as a it is a function name. So here I am using add as a function name. Getting so simple definition it is a block of code that block will have some logic. Getting so that logic will be used for performing particular task. So this is a simple definition of function. It is a block of code, okay, which allows us to perform a particular task. Now this task can be any. It can be area of circle. It can be factorial of number. It can be finding whether given number is prime number or not, etc. Okay. So this is the simple definition of function. Now, what is the advantage of function? Is a first it is a block of code which performs a particular task. Which performs a particular task. Okay. Now we'll see advantages of function. So see which are the advantages. So very important advantage of function is modularity. So this is one of the feature of C language modularity. Okay, so C is providing modularity feature to us with the help of this function concept. So what is mean by modularity? See, we can divide large program large program into different models like this model 1 then model 2 and so on so by using functions concept we can have number of models in large program getting so this is modularity feature we can divide large program or large software into number of models with the help of functions so here this individual models will be functions individual models will be the functions in your program now what will be advantage of having this model so it will reduce the complexity of your program it will reduce the complexity of program so this will give you advantage that is you can find the errors or easy error detection and correction okay so because of this modularity we can easily detect and correct the errors in the program if we uh, divide the large program into number of models okay with the function then it is easy to detect and correct the errors which are present in the program ready so modularity will give you this advantage ready what is next next advantage of function so it 
reduces the code it reduces the code so see simple example suppose i am not using any function i have written the entire uh, task in single uh, main function suppose i am not using using any other function only one function i am using that is main function suppose i i want i uh, i have implemented a program which is calculating area of different shapes suppose there are different areas that is area of square area of triangle area of rectangle area of circle suppose i am uh, implementing this program for different areas and suppose what all the logics i have written in single main function getting okay. so it is very difficult to identify the errors in this program so instead of that i can have four different functions for four areas so for area of circle there can be separate function for area of square there can be separate function area of uh, rectangle there can be separate function and area of uh, circle there uh, square that, uh, there there can be separate function okay so in that case it is easy to identify the errors so that you can uh, correct those errors very easily so that is we are saying now reduces the code suppose in your program in your large program you are uh, performing the same task again and again for example suppose there is a code of 1000 lines and suppose you are performing the same code again and again or you are executing the same code again and again for example there is a area of circle you are executing area of circle code again and again area of circle so there is a c program of 1000 lines and in that program now consider this program is for finding the area of different shapes and in this program you are having or you are executing area of circle code again and again okay so this will increase the code because you are executing the same logic or same code again and again so instead of this what you can do you can have the function for area of circle you can have the function for area of circle and you can simply call that function again and again okay so same task you'll get that means you'll uh, area of circle code will be executed but but he, in uh, if you implement this or if you have the area of circle functions separately then in that case definitely the code will be reduced as compared to this 1000 lines so see how it will be reduced see function calling will require only one line and this will be addition function will be separate so here your logic will be implemented and in your program simply whenever you require addition of sorry whenever you require sorry area of circle like this whenever you require area of circle logic then simply call that function so compiler will jump to that function again it will return back so instead of those number of lines in your main function there will be only function calling getting so compiler will jump to area function again it will come back so instead of consider area of circle logic is for five lines and suppose here you are uh, executing those five lines for five times so you are executing total 25 lines but if you use this function then see five function calls and consider this five lines and function header and this seven uh, consider this function is for seven lines so five plus seven so if you use functions then only 12 lines are enough but if you use area of circle logic again and again in main program then it will take 25 lines so function reduces the code it avoids the rewriting of same code again and again getting so it reduces the rewriting of code again and again for that uh, function avoids the rewriting of code again and again getting so these are the advantages of functions now definitely there is a drawback of function so what is the main drawback of function function is a slower than macro concept in c why i see whenever compiler get the function call it will jump from that point to function definition once the execution of function definition is finished 
again it will return back to the function call so here that jumping and returning these two operations will take time getting so in this case there was sequential execution that means a com compiler was executing this program okay sequentially that means the manner in which those in, uh, steps or instructions are written but here see we are simply changing the sequence so whenever compiler get this particular call it will jump to function definition it will execute the function definition once the execution is the execution of function definition is finished again it it will return back to function call so here jumping and returning these steps are time consuming so that's why functions are time consuming or they are slower than the macro concept okay so there is only one drop drawback of function getting so we have seen what is the definition of function okay which are the advantages of function and which are the drawbacks of function getting now we'll see which are the types of function so there are two types of functions in c first one is library functions they are also called as built in functions they are also called as built in functions okay and second one is user defined function user defined functions so see library function as their name suggests library functions are always available in some of the libraries libraries means header files for example you can take simple function printf so you know that printf is a library function why because it is present in std io.h header file so it is present in this library it is present in std io.h header file so such functions are called as library functions another reason is that printf is not uh, printf is not going to write by uh, developer of software or programmer that function is already written by developer of c language for example dennis ritchie so these functions are already written that means they their job or their uh, function definition that is already written that is already fixed our our job that is as a programmer our job is to just call them so library functions are already written they are already developed by developers of c language as a programmer in c my job is to just use them my job is to just call them get it so their meaning their body is already defined by developers of c and second reason is those functions are available in header file so we can't change their spelling okay their syntax is also fixed general syntax is also fixed so such functions are called as library function so get ch str le and str cpy str cat getting then uh, for uh, drawing line line function is there these are the library functions user defined functions so user defined functions can be written by programmers or users of c language so for example add function so see this function is not present in any of the header file or it is not present in any of the library so see i have written add function here okay so see this is function call so if i i want to create my own function then c provides that facility to me okay so in addition to library function user of c also can create his or her own function so see i have created here add function okay so this is function call but i uh, whenever i am creating user defined function i need to have the three things okay that is uh, declaration function declaration function call and then definition function definition okay so whenever i want to create any user defined function okay for my requirement then i should create function declaration function call and function definition okay so here i have flexibility to decide the working of this function so see i have given name add you can give uh, 
area name to your function getting so here i can decide the body of this function what will uh, what logic will be present in this particular function so that flexibility is with me getting so this is user defined function so user defined functions are uh, to be written by programmers or users of c language and we can decide their name we can decide their meaning and they are not present in any of the library or header files whereas library functions they are already developed by developers of c language and we can't change their meaning we can't change their spelling our job is to just use them our job is to just call them getting by including their respective header file okay so these are the types of functions in c language okay so here i have covered the basics of functions in c language okay so if you like my video then please like share and comment to my youtube channel programming in mind thank you